I've been having a slight problem with the e-bike lately. The chain has come off the chain ring twice in the last 100 miles. And it's happened both times on road, not off road. There's a certain bump that will knock the chain off the front chain ring. So we're in the process of making a chain guide. We're in the early stages of uh, fabricating our mount. I will show you what I've got so far for the mount. We've got a one inch by three sixteenths of an inch metal that goes down to the mount where the fender was and the piece with the blue tape is a one inch by quarter inch piece of steel and the quarter inch piece of steel will be the area where our guide will bolt to. In a few seconds I'll show you what the commercial guide looks like. And we'll use the bolt down there where the fender mounted as our anchor. So that's our mount. Here is the guide we're going to be using. Let's see, if I put it right side up you can see what the uh, part number is and all that. That's the number and in this package you can see that there is a little plastic guide and an aluminum bracket with quite a bit of adjustment on it. There is uh, two screws and an Allen wrench in there. Oh, a couple of shims too. I might have, I might need those. But uh, that's the guide we're going to be mounting on our bracket. All right, we're making progress. I've got the quarter inch piece welded now to the 3 16th piece that comes down here. So uh, that looks good right there. And I'm bringing the camera over to the other side so we can take a look at the um, the chain guide how that mounts and we can take a look see how that is coming along here is the chain guide piece and let's see I guess it's gonna go right about here I think right around there it might have to be shimmed but we're really close All right. now we're gonna have to uh, transfer our holes right here 
into that quarter inch plate. That's why the tape is there so we can scribe a line and what we're going to do is we're going to drill and tap for those screws that they gave you. Right. We're going to put this in the right spot here. good right there if I can hold it we drilled and tapped two five millimeter point eight zero threads into the quarter inch piece of my bracket because that's what the bolts were they were five millimeter point Eight zero. Now we're gonna have to probably trim those bolts. They might be too long because uh, we don't have a lot of clearance on the back side of the bracket. One of them has more clearance than the other. We're going to have to check that and maybe trim the bolts. And maybe not. If we're going to shim that, well then the bolts will be okay. So we got to check our... we got to put our piece in there and check it and see if we have to shim it or not. I took one of the shims and put it behind the guide. I'm going to try to get away with just one bolt. And if we come up here and look at the guide you'll see that I have one shim oh, it's going to be hard to see but the chain is perfect right in the middle and it's got one of those plastic shims underneath there and it put it beautiful right in the middle Hopefully that one bolt will be okay, but we did tap another one in there in case we need it. We can go back and put two bolts in there. But I think one bolt is going to work just fine. So all the fitting is done. Now what we're going to do is take it all apart and give it a good paint job. Make it look nice. And then after that we'll take another look at it for you and see what it looks like. But so far, I am very happy. Here is the unit all done. The bracket is all painted, mounted. And I think it came out pretty slick. I got a little cap over the uh, Allen head bolt and I've got a nut 
on the underneath side keep it from backing out hopefully that's strong enough there and we had to add uh, a shim underneath there to bring it to the correct distance and if you look right there you can see that the chain is still right in the middle of the guide that shim is all I needed to position it right in the uh, middle and uh, we have it right in the middle of the cassette in the back so that should give us enough clearance on both high and low gears back on the cassette so the next thing we need to do is to go out there ride it and try it see if it actually works and as soon as I do that I will come back here and give you a follow-up I just got back from my latest ride and I now have a total of 60 miles since I put on the new chain guide and I can tell you that the chain has not come off not even a hint I've gone over and over those same bumps that knocked it off before nothing it's working really really well I'm really happy with this system so that's going to be a wrap on the chain guide for the e-bike.